Welcome back to Bradley's Garage. Today we've got another Volkswagen TDI video for you. This time we're gonna be doing uh, the in-tank fuel pump. So we're gonna swap that out for you. So come along. So as you can see, uh, our gauge basically went completely dead. We have no gas gauge. The funny thing is, if you look at uh, the air code from our VCDS, you see that it, uh, it, it start for fuel installed out on us. So somehow after that happened, um, the fuel sensor basically shorted out. So now we have nothing, the gas gauge doesn't move. So the funny thing is it actually uh, started after a reset. It actually started again and was driving, but once again, we have no gas gauge. So um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and switch it out completely. Uh, and so let's jump on it. All right, so first step is we're gonna get the back seat up. So you just simply pull on this side, pull up, and then right here, same thing, pull, okay. And then all you gotta do is just push it towards the back of the car on this edge and it lifts up the corner. Same thing on this side. All you gotta do is just push back and it lifts up. As you can see, just a little latch here. So now our back seat, we can just set it up out of the way. So we go ahead and just remove the little rubber boot for the wire. And then this, you can just get your fingers underneath, has a couple little clips, snaps out and you can feed this through, get this out of your way. So just be super careful with, with this clip. I'd like to use a little hook tool and I grab it from down below because if you break it, then this clip won't stay attached to the connector. So make sure that's all the way up. And what I do is I basically get pushed down on the connector, pinch right here, and then pull it up. All right. Okay, so next up, we can go ahead and uh, remove the outer ring here. As you can see, this one's kind of corroded. So we might just uh, replace that while we're in here. So we're gonna get a, you, VW sells like a special tool, but I'm gonna show you another way to do it. All right, so first up, before we take this ring off, we wanna just go ahead and uh, take both hoses off. All it is is just a little push-in clamp. So just push it in. I use this little hook tool. So just push in and then it pops up. There's really not any pressure, so you don't have to worry about that. As soon as the car shuts off, it really doesn't have any lasting pressure. All the high pressure is done on the high pressure fuel pump at the engine side, so. Okay, there'll be a little gas that'll come out. Okay, so now I just kind of set those on top. We don't want anything to fall in there. And then you can go ahead and get your plain tip screwdriver and a little hammer, and we're gonna take this ring off. Just give it a couple smacks. You might need to spray, if you have corroded like this one, uh, you can spray it with some penetrating oil. And then after you get the, the ring loose, then you can lift up both of your hoses, slide this ring out. And then what I like to do is just go ahead, you can tuck this, the short one over here on the edge, and you can kind of get the other one behind it. It doesn't like to stay, so you can kind of just hold your hand there. And then we're gonna lift the fuel pump assembly out. And just remember, depending on how much gas you got in the tank, um, it will be varying degrees of, of fuel. So what you gotta do is just kind of tilt it up a little bit. And I like to drain a little off because it's sitting inside, you know, submerged inside the pump. So I want to just let a little trickle down the side. Okay, that's fine. And then that way you can tilt it and get the uh, level sensor out. Okay, we'll take this out. We just went and picked one up uh, from the local junkyard. We found a car that was wrecked recently. So we just did a quick little test with 12 volts and the pump works. So we're gonna roll the dice. This was less than $50. The OEM pump is now 600, if you can believe that. So uh, we're gonna roll the dice. I mean, 50 bucks, we could change this, you know, 10 times and still be money ahead. So uh, hopefully this one works and the level sensor works. So our gas gauge will be working again. Uh, so let's go ahead and put it in. It's up to you guys if you want to do a new one or go get a used one. We'll put the part numbers for the new stuff down below if you want to go ahead and 
you know, spend the money on that. So uh, go ahead and just hold the hose out of the way. Put your level sensor in first and then rotate it ever so gently. And then we're gonna go ahead and just uh, basically set it halfway. And after you get the main part of the body of the fuel pump in, you're gonna go ahead and lower the gasket. You're gonna lower it down. And you need to get the gasket on first, okay? So you wanna go ahead and do that. You just kinda feel around. So basically just work it around. Sometimes it likes to try to fall, but basically you wanna get it in the, the groove. I know it's a little, it's getting dark on us. Uh, basically just like that. So then that way you see you have a nice ring around everything. And just remember this tab faces towards the, the back of the car. All right, so after you get it into place, grab your hose out of the way and we're gonna go ahead and just you know, set it down into position. And there'll be a little, a tiny bit of spring that keeps the, the pressure on everything. So let's get the ring that we got from the junkyard so we can replace our rusty one. We can grab our new ring that we got, well, new used. We got it from the junkyard since ours was kind of corroded and rusty. So depending on where you live in the country, yours may be rusty as well and a kind of a pain to get off. But like I said, just soak it if you have any trouble beforehand. And then we're gonna go ahead and just set these over and then just push, push straight down, make sure that tab is facing the back of the car. You get it into the groove and then you can kind of just turn it a little bit uh, by hand initially, okay? And then just make sure that every tab is uh, engaging, right? I see back here, we're not engaging, okay? So let's turn it back. Yeah, there you go. See how we wanna make sure everything, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you wanna make sure you see all six of those before continuing on. And now we can go ahead and just clip these fuel lines back on. You hear a little snap, okay? Pull on them, make sure they're secure. Okay, then you can go ahead and get uh, your screwdriver and your hammer, and then just go ahead. and lock it down. Basically, we have about uh, three notches left. That's kind of where we started, so that's good. Now everything is uh, good there. Fuel lines are hooked up. Now we can go ahead and get our little plastic cover. There's a little arrow that points right here to this groove, so you wanna get that in, and then it basically just snaps in place. Uh, you can go ahead and put your connector in you wanna push it down till you hear it snap, and then just go ahead and push the red locking tab straight down, okay? And then all you gotta do is just tuck your wires under and put on the rubber grommet for the wiring harness. Let's tuck it in with your fingers. Okay, now we're ready for the back seat. All right, so we go ahead and get our seat back in and we just tuck it under under the seat belts first, okay? And then if you look here, you'll see the grooves, little thing right there. So you're basically pushing the seat back to line that up. And then just push straight down. In the corner, same thing, push back, straight down around to this side and I just push back make sure it's there clicks into place and then here same thing so it clicks okay so we're now we're gonna get in the car and uh, you can either use your VCDS or you know your scan tool to prime the pump otherwise you can just cycle the start stop button several times as you can see we now have a gas gauge so uh, now we know that sensor is good and I heard a little buzzing fuel pump if you listen Okay, so I would just do that about five times. That way we're gonna go ahead and purge those lines, suck that fuel up into the fuel pump, send it up to the motor. So just do that a few times. Or like I said, use your scan tool.
Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and fire it up. All right, guys, that looks pretty good. Hopefully that helps you out with your VW Passat TDI. This is for 2012 to 2014, the B7 chassis. Uh, so like I said, uh, pretty quick, easy, pop the back seat out and swap it out. Even if this one fails in a year or two, you know, we're only out 50 bucks. So good luck and be sure to check out the channel for our other Passat B7 TDI. We've done a bunch of stuff on these cars. We have a few of them. So uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.